Hey, what's going on guys, Hexer, and today we're taking a look at the Star Wars 6-inch Black Line Series R5-D4. This guy is going to be coming on the 40th anniversary packaging, and he is also a GameStop exclusive. Uh, a lot of you guys uh, probably don't remember anyone being called R5-D4. Uh, he was called Red. Uh, so this is one of the ones that uh, they were initially going to buy this guy, uh, Red, uh, from the Jawas and A New Hope, and ended up... Getting about halfway across there and then burn out and they ended up picking up R2-D2 instead. So uh, he was only in the movie a little bit, but, uh, you know, got an exclusive of him. Uh, it's cool to have this character, but on the other side, uh, he's very plain. Uh, he doesn't come with any additional accessories um, like the R2 units. Uh, he does have uh, the telescopic uh, third wheel that comes down and then you do have the uh, two inner doors. Uh, if I can get... My nails in there I don't have any nails but so I can show you these okay so these and then I'm gonna open those up not that he ever showed these in the movie but uh you know it's I think it's essential that you know he shows them off that he has them so uh the legs you can see that uh it's pretty typical with the legs you know we've had other uh exclusives of this mold he had those a droid that came in the uh, Toys R Us 3-pack. Um, this was one of them. He was just red and black, I believe. I have to look on my shelf uh, to be sure. But uh, the legs are all the same. And you notice that they did the, the new thing. Or, you know, that has the, the legs where the you know these come off. Uh, but you don't have anything additional to put on there. Uh, so, kind of unfortunate. That would have been cool if you would have had just a little bit of extra something there. But give you guys a little 360. You can see there's some uh, nice paint with the blue and silver. You can also see with some of this kind of like gold or bronze, copper, whatever you want to call it. You have the reflective thing going around here. You can see some nice silver paint in here, silver and red. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, dirt on him, so I just open him out of the package. Uh, but you can still see that he's kind of have has that warm look, so kind of like a little bit of dirt there. I don't know how well it's showing up. Uh, we'll see. So you can kind of kind of see that he's supposed to have this worn, dirty look to him. So that's that's what it is. I just wanted to make sure you knew that that's the way it came, and I haven't been like out in the sandbox, you know, playing with this guy or something. Uh, just turn the head that way to have the third wheel come down. You can move that there. Move these back. And these uh, they have the articulation there as well. So, and you can see that they all have these little wheels. So he does, uh, or he could roll nicely if you wanted to, I don't know, have a droid race or something like that. Uh, you can do that. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much him. And to, uh, you know, close this up, just kind of move this, uh, center of that and go the other way. Bring these back down. And, uh, there's a little quick look at him. So, uh... Wish he came with more accessories. My personal opinion, whenever they come out with droids all right, like this, I like it if they do the droid like three packs. Do a three pack and maybe charge me like 70 bucks instead of come out with one and charge me 20. Same thing with the Jawas. They're very small figures or Yoda. Come out with three packs of Jawas and charge me like uh, 40 bucks for them or something like that because they're small, you know. Uh, they shouldn't cost as much as the bigger figures. That's just my personal opinion. It has nothing to do with the review on this guy. Uh, I think he's nice. I'm glad to have him in my, in my collection. But he doesn't come with anything other than what you see here, which is kind of boring. So, anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.